the Ohanese Youth Council OYC has called on Igbo Christians and security officers in various departments across the country to consistently stay on guard due to the growing insecurity challenges in the Southeast. The Apex Youth Organization made the call on Tuesday through its national president, Comrade Igwayaka O Igwayaka, in an interactive section with journalists in Oweri, following a lengthy council security meeting regarding the security challenges in Nigeria. The group charged all Christian leaders, Catholics, Anglicans and Methodist bishops, all other general overseers of the teeming churches, to awaken from their slumber, warning against envisaged the impending assassination of more Christians in various sectors in a couple of weeks if nothing was done to avert sin. Comrade Iwayaka noted that the killing of MC Okoronkwo by bandits at Nigeria Defense Academy Kaduna was clear proof that the Igbos and Christian security officers working for the Nigerian government are targeted for extinction, you know, annihilation, maiming, and slaughtering by the organized Fulani military, otherwise known as bandits and Boko Haram who have been terrorizing our ethnic nationalities in this country. The youth leader said the gruesome killing of late MC Okoronkwo is launching of ethnic cleansing of Igbo and Christian in the military, navy, armed force, police and other security forces in Nigeria. He said, the manner of killing of late Chine Cherim Okonkwo and how the bandit displayed the video of his corpse is quite inciting to Indubu and the Christian community that this calls for more concern. This manner of killing wouldn't stop in Navy, military, Air Force, police and other security departments if the Ibu and Christian security agencies keep mute without any proactive measure. The killing of Igbo and Christian force men in Nigeria security department will hence take different dimensions. Some will look like an accident, mistake, banditry, kidnapping, killing, and dying in disguise of fighting Boko Haram, Iguayaka revealed. Speaking further, he lamented those. It is regrettable that over 30 million Igbo youths, governors, senators, representative members, ministers, senior officers in Nigerian Security Department of Igbo Extraction have now raised questions as to investigate the circumstances leading to late MC Okoronkwo's death. All Christian leaders, Catholics, Anglicans, and Methodist bishops, all other general overseers of the Timin churches, must wake up now because in subsequent weeks and months, more Igbo and Christian security officers may be assassinated. They are working to weaken the internal and external security of Nigeria as they have penetrated even the security intelligence. What is your thought about this? What is going on in Nigeria is not mere insecurity or societal crime, but there is a state calculated crime against Indubo and Christians at large in Nigeria. What is your own point of view concerning this? We have all heard about the plain situation of things, how the Ohanese youth are calling on Igbo Christians, security officers, to stay on guard because it is as if the perpetrators, that is the bandits, who have been killing and committing all sorts of atrocities, 
are going after the Christians and the Indubos. What is your thought about this? The Ohanese Youth Council, OYC, has called on Igbo Christians and security officers in various departments across the country to consistently stay on guard due to the growing insecurity challenges, you know, the great security challenges in the southeast. What is your own point of view concerning this? As we can see, there's a series of things are happening in Nigeria. And we have heard about the incidents that happened in the Nigerian Army, you know, Academy. This is a clear proof that the Christians and the Igbos are most targeted. People that are working as a security officer in different places now needs to be on guard. According to the news, Ohanese youth have called on Igbo Christians, the security officers, to always stay on guard because with the level of things, the way things are going now, it is as if we are the new target. What is your thought about this? We would like you to share on point of view with those bad conversation on the that has been said. But before we go, let's people's reactions and you their thought about this. Aguwa Uchi reacted to this and said, Christians in Nigeria should wake up now. That is what Uchi have said. According to what we've heard in the news, that the youth in Nigeria, the Christians in Nigeria, the Indobos needs to wake up from their slumber. They need to awaken from their sleep and do the needful and start to protect themselves against external invaders because it seems that they are the next target. What is your thought about this? And according to what Agu, Aguwa Uchi have said that Christians in Nigeria should always be on guard. They should wake up from their you know, slumber now. What is your own thought about this? Prybanks also reacted to this and said, you guys are creating a monster. Very soon, the monster will go off the leash. What is your thought about this? That this present situation is really causing a monster in this country. And very soon, this monster will go off the leash. What is your own reaction to this? What is your own point of view concerning the present situation of things? We would like you to drop your thoughts via the comment section. We would like you to drop your own point of view concerning this according to what has been said earlier that the Ohanese Youth Council OYC has called on evil Christians and security officers in various departments across the country to consistently stay on guard due to the growing security challenges in the southeast. The Apex Youth Organization made this call on Tuesday through its national president. What is your thought about this? We would like you to drop your thoughts on this. Don't forget that Ohanese youth has called on the Igbo Christians and the security officers who are working in various you know, places in Nigeria to always stay on guard because looking at the present situation of things and the incidents that happen in the Nigerian Defense Academy, it seems that these perpetrators, these terrorists, these bandits are against the Christians and the Indobo. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.